This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headline. On number one, a bill proposing the establishment of the National Independent Local Government Electoral Commission has passed its first reading in the Senate. This will be responsible for conducting elections for the 774 local governments in Nigeria's 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. The bill sponsored by Senator Sana Musa, APC Niger East, will require a constitutional amendment. The proposed NIJEC will consist of a chairperson and six commissioners appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate, each serving a renewable five-year term. On number two, in a plenary session presided over by Speaker Tajuddin Abba, the House of Representatives has pledged to donate 50% of their salaries for six months to address hunger across Nigeria. Deputy Speaker Benjamin Kalu proposed the motion urging his colleagues to contribute 300,000 Naira each to a common fund. This initiative will result in a monthly contribution of 108 million Naira totaling 648 million naira over six months to the federal government. On number three, Education Minister Professor Tahir Maman has reversed his directive that only candidates aged 18 and above are eligible for admission to tertiary institutions. During a policy meeting organized by Jambin Abuja, stakeholders opposed the directive, arguing that it was illogical to deny admission to 16-year-old students who have passed WAEG and JAM. In response, Marman reconsidered his stance. On number four, former PDP presidential aspirant Dele Mamadou has called for stricter discipline within the administration, particularly regarding the political situation in River State. In an open letter to President Bola Tinumbu, Mamadou emphasized the need for leadership discipline, specifically addressing the actions of former River State Governor and current Federal Capital Territory Minister Nye Samuiki. And lastly, a police officer identified as Okon, who was assigned to the All Progressives Congress candidate in the September 21 governorship election, Monday Okwebolo, was killed after a mob attacked the convoy of his principal and that of the reinstated deputy governor of Edo State, Philip Schwabo, in Benin on Thursday. This incident occurred shortly after they left the Benin airport. Philip Schwabo, who had been impeached by the State House of Assembly on April 8, was reinstated on Wednesday after Justice J.K. Omoto Show. Of the Abuja Federal High Court ruled that his impeachment was unjust. Tribu and Okwebolu arrived at the Benin airport around 2 p.m. and were met with a rousing welcome from their supporters before the tragic attack took place. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.